Okay, help. I we should be switching over to the run right now, Mike. Okay, great, great. Um, yeah, we can start whenever. Uh, I just have to set my controls. So this is Ernest Evans. As you can see from the quality title screen, it's a quality game. And as you can see, it's pretty anime, as you can see from the opening cutscenes. Um, oh, everybody. I, I have another name for this game, game that you're going to see uh, once I start. <laughs> yeah, Wolf Team. I love it. Wolf Team. This is an oh. actual game. This is a good game. And also, to the guy who said only Sega and Treasure made good games, I disagree with that. The Genesis actually has a lot of good games. But it also has a lot of bad games. I'll gladly admit to that, too. But uh, we're, we're going to get in some Wolf Team. So we're going to start. I going to say it also uh, has the best games. It seemed to have froze <laughs> on the title screen. Oh, the game? No, nah, that's actually a bug you can do. If you hold a direction while you start the game, it just freezes until you let go. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, because this is the best game. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, I screwed okay. up the first trick, but we got boosts, and so I have a nickname for this game, and you'll probably immediately understand it. Uh, it's I like to call it Quapplevania. Because you have the physics of Quap. And, and you and you have a whip, just like Castlevania. And so this first stage is very RNG heavy. You have to defeat this avocado. And you might wonder why I died so quickly. That's actually on purpose because that's actually you're actually supposed to get a key to open that gate and but you, you can die and fly through it exactly because you have no collision detection when you die oh we're gonna get boost we got boost uh, oh yeah oh baby this is the run uh this is marathon safer than subterranea but uh oh uh oh i should not have said that i should not have said that in the least the game just <laughs> immediately picked up on that so uh, that's a good point. So damage. As you see, I take very little damage from those arrows. But I took uh, a lot of damage from that not really threatening looking vine. That's because um, damage. there are no iframes in this game, and damage is based on how long you collide with things for. So you basically take one or two damage per frame. And so something threatening like an arrow or a bullet does no damage, and just standing in an enemy will do all the damage. So we're going to have to take uh, the safety apples of shame, but you get to see something. Michael Jackson might have moonwalking, but Ernest Evans has moon crawling. Oh, yeah. Except moon crawling. <laughs> yeah, and you can actually go really fast up walls by just jumping up them and humping them like that. Oops, I'm stuck because great collision detection. <laughs> o only from the best, Wolf Team Baby. Oh, geez, you know it. And we're just going off to dodge a bit of lag. I still love the hot dog whip. It's so good. Yes, this is really a video game lovable lamb chop. Yeah. I mean, look at all these locations that Ernest goes to. As McCaw says, the graphics are meme, but there's so much stage variety. Oh, yeah. And, I... and, and it's actually really, like, good, fun stage variety, and there's a lot of enemies. And Uh-oh, okay. Uh, that was a little precarious right there because as i said before so you might be wondering how much damage whip does it does about a damage per frame and the reason why we collected these pebbles is because these pebbles do 50 damage per pebble <laughs> so good yeah oh no i didn't mean really. to do that but you got to see action roll um so sometimes when you hit uh ceilings um you'll be forced to crouch and i have no clue why Oh, yeah, what's the story of this? Aren't you from Maine? Um, I think the first mission place takes place in Maine. No, or Mex I don't remember. But you do travel the world in this game, and if you play the Mega CD version, which is the original Japanese version of this game, um, you get to see cutscenes, and one of them is a world map of where you travel, and I think it's actually from this stage. You travel from... Peru to France, but you don't take the direct route. You take a plane to China, then take a train uh, to Eastern Europe, then you take a car to France where you hitch another plane. That sounds a little inconvenient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Momentum boosts! Okay, so I'm gonna die soon, but that's not a bad thing. Um, this stage is a common death point. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. Alright, there we go. 
I, I fully recommend that everybody play this game, by the way. It yeah, feels... it's actually uh, a good, fun game. It's a little janky apart, but for the most part, the controls are actually pretty good. Yeah, you'll... And you'll have weird things happen all the time. Yeah. That, that's just how this game is. Hey, that looks good. Ah, I thought that was the one cycle, but I guess not. But, uh... Oh, so close. Yeah, so you can't get this... Yeah, see, exactly. I was, like, a tiny bit of damage off. All right, so for this stage, there's a big shortcut. You want to see it? Boom, you hold left. It's like I call it the second time shortcut, because you would know to go left the second time you play this game. And so you're <laughs> supposed to go inside the car caboose, but uh, if you just hold left, you go on the top, and as you can see, these planes are very confused because you're not approaching from the correct direction, and you just get the relic that you need to beat the stage. And then you get to fight the coal boss. Oh no, <laughs> oh no, oh no. Boss. Okay, oh, good. Come on. <laughs> We're not getting KO'd like, like we did in my practice run. That was really bad. <laughs> A and then we're taking the plane. Oh, so good. And so this is the Ernest Evans trilogy. This is the only game that actually stars Ernest Evans as a playable character. And that's Annette, who is the main character in the other uh, two games of the Ernest Evans trilogy. And I totally jumped too early, but it's not a big deal. We, we just have to do a walk of shame. Oh, all the guys. I was just distracted guy. doing commentary. What can I say? <laughs> the guy and so these are the cheap guy. guile knockoffs. Um, hopefully they won't flash kick me, which would do a ton of damage. Because as I said, uh, running into something that looks threatening, not much damage at all. Uh, taking collision damage, all the damage. All right, but we're good. And here's the boss. And as you can see, I took many bullets to the face. I'm fine. But collision damage, all the damage. Oh boy! Okay, right. that was so a really good. Um, this is uh, stage seven. This is I'm probably gonna die here too. Um, this is another common death point, but that's fine. Oh. Basically, you have five credits, uh, five continues, and if you go through them all, uh, that's a game over. Uh huh. There's a actually small chance I won't die. What? Wow. Uh no, I died. Um, you <laughs> want to be facing in the opposite direction that you're facing when you do take a death in this game. Um, so that you boost in the correct direction. Um, I wasn't quite expecting those little bugs to kill me, so I wasn't facing in the correct direction. And this is yeah. just a highly RNG boss. You might notice that the game stages are getting a lot shorter. Um, I, I just didn't uh, go head first in the boss, because... And this is a very RNG heavy boss. Oh yeah, he moves a lot, it's RNG. And now you're going to see action roll! Now we're going to see if we have boosts. We don't have boosts. Uh, so we got to roll through the tree instead. Um, if I had the boost, um, that is... Oh. That is the fastest way to get around the tree. If I don't have the boost... Then you got to roll through the tree. If you don't, the tree knocks you back like 100 feet. <laughs> yeah, the tree really knocks you back. It's, it's just nuts. Because you, because you're not supposed to get past the tree, but uh, you can go under where the hurt box for the tree, the hit box for the tree is, and then you're fine. Oh, apparently you have better rolls than Kurt Russell. Nice. <laughs> and there's a boss. All right, so don't blink. There's gonna be another stage coming up. It's a good stage. And we beat it. It vertically wraps, so if, as long as you hit the top, you've hit the bottom, which is where the stage clears. <laughs> um, so this is RNG Fish, uh, as the name implies. It is a ton of RNG and a huge killing point for runs, because oh, it is yeah. just complete RNG. Uh, so the orbs actually move in a fixed pattern, and you have to destroy those first. Um, they just uh, rotate around and stop and rotate around in the other direction. The problem is that the boss move, boss's movement is random, and it moves faster than you. So you kind of have to predict where it's going and just hope it's actually going to move there. It yeah, doesn't so. look like like the main character is moving around at all under here, but you are. Yeah, I and, and Ernest weird. Evans has a great set of lungs. I mean, he's I mean, he's already traveled to more places than Deanna Jones, so you know he you know he's a good adventurer. Um, 
So I'm being very careful because I don't want to land directly in the boss's... Uh, in the boss, which does a lot of damage. I actually have no idea how many continues I have. I want to say I have two. But, I, uh, uh, oh, we might find out very soon. I know you've oh, died good. twice. So we're going to swim. Or swim, 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 swim. And now we're on the final stage. Oh, yeah. So there is, as I mentioned earlier, there is a Mega CD, which is a Japanese uh, Sega CD version of this, and it actually came out a year earlier than this version, which I think is exclusive to uh, US and Canada. And they only made two changes. They uh, adjusted the soundtrack for FM synth instead of, you know, CD Red Book Audio, and uh, they took out the cutscenes from the Sega, the Mega CD version. And those are the only two changes they made because they knew they had a great game in their hands. Um, actually, Dana, there's Cthulhu-style mythos in this game, if you can believe it or not. And basically, you're what? trying to stop a Cthulhu-style god. <laughs> well, I mean, look at the background. I I'm sure Ernest Evans has already been driven mad, you know? All right, final boss right All right, here. so you think you'd hit the core, but you actually hit that thing that looks like a pelican scythe head. <laughs> Okay, uh, I shouldn't have a game over. Oh, yeah, I, I have plenty of lives. All right, that's good news. In fact, I'll jump in a bit. Oh, and that's time. Oh, nice. Very good job. And that's Quapalvania, or Ernest Evans. <laughs> now, we're going to watch the credits, because it's worth watching the credits. Uh, oh, definitely. Among other things, there's some history behind the game. Uh... I actually read a bit, uh, a bit of the Wikipedia article for the founder of Wolf Team. Um, I think his name is Masahiro Hiro Akashino. And I don't remember mu too much of the article. I only skimmed it. But it said that um, his whereabouts are unknown. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's some interesting things about Wolf Team. Um, first up, Bugtaro, the director of this game. He went on to be the main programmer or director of Resident Evil Code Veronica. Ooh. And uh, many members of Wolf Team, you know, uh, since the Mega Drive was not exactly a success in Japan, even though, you know, it was a success in Europe and the U.S., uh, they decided to move on to Super Nintendo, and uh, I think they were bought out by Namco, or they merged with Namco, and they made Tales of Fantasia. Yes, Wolf Team went on to become Tales Team. Wow. <laughs> and I think some members went on to become members of Triace because of a character called Ernst in Star Ocean 2. Now, you see, the mu music is composed by Motoi Sakurapa, who is well known for uh, being, for, you know, Triace games, you know, Valkyrie Profile, Star Ocean, and the like. But he's also known for this little known game called Dark Souls. He is one of the composers for Dark Souls. So he's moved on oh, yeah. from X68000 games with Wolf Team to Dark Souls. <laughs> Hey, you yes, know that is the same Wolf someone. Team Pesmerga <laughs> that went on to become Tails Team. I doubt many of the original members are still in Tails Team, but yes, it is the same team. Yeah, and then they became Triace, exactly. As you know from Ernst from Star Ocean 2, who was apparently a character with a whip, because they had to give a shout out to the best adventure of all, Ernest Evans. Oh, yeah. And you know, just like how Super Metroid does, uh, Deer Force, w w w we hear. You know, we hear Evans is, you know, the, the true adventurers. We got to say Wolf Team. Wolf Team. Ah! Um, I would say that Granada is their best game. It is also a good game. And be sure to watch the credits for that amazing end. Oh, yeah. And there you go. That's Ernest Evans. Oh, that that was a fantastic run, Mike. <laughs> Always good to see this. I'm glad that glad that you were able to join us. <laughs> uh, so am I. And oh, that was all, a lot of fun. And uh, I guess I'll be signing off. Maybe next. Maybe if you have this marathon next time, I'll be able to do a, uh, a quote unquote salty run back on. Uh, on subterranea. Oh man, yeah, we we need to have that 
vengeance match, okay? Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and get ready for the next round then. I really appreciate it, Mike. All right, sounds good. All right.